Hi everyone, my name is Sandra. Thank you for returning here if you have watched my videos in the past and if you haven't, today's video is a brush pen video. So this is a little bit different because I've gotten crap for this in the past because generally when you're giving a brush pen review, you sit down and test them before you actually use a brand new brush pen. These are brand new, my friends. They have not even been taken out of the pack. So you and I are going to experience this together for the first time. And I'm really excited to try these out. I have heard absolutely nothing about these. So I haven't checked today, but the last time I did, which was maybe like five days ago, there were absolutely no reviews of these pens on the internet at all. And I got these from the Stationery Pals website. If that, uh, my Stationery Pal haul, if that video is up before this one, I will link it in the cards. But we're going to check them out, see how they write. I've already kind of know, like, I mean, they were pricey. They were a pricey brush pen. They are probably, besides for my combos, besides for my Secure Koi, they are probably the most pricey pens. There's only 20 in this pack. They're made in Japan. So of course, you know, they're probably going to be good. Let's test them. I'm so excited. And these colors aren't in English, and so I'm just going to write the word hello, I think, because, or maybe the word sailor. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. They're called Sailor Shikuri. Shikuri, I think so. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't look it up, but. Um, and let's see. Ooh, there's like a little booklet in here, which is probably in J Japanese. Oh, yes. I should mention. So each of these colors in this pack of brush pens matches their calligraphy inks. So all of these colors, they have a different calligraphy ink for. This is like very aesthetically pleasing. It's very pretty, but I can't read this. So I'm probably going to keep it in the package. We're going to open this up. I'm just going to sort them by color. And the other thing, oh, they are so aesthetic, you guys. They're so pretty. They're beautiful. Even the packaging, well, the packaging is like your standard plastic brush pen packaging, but the pen is so aesthetic. So we're going to talk about this pen. This is different than any pen that I own. So number one, it has this little tab right here so your pen won't roll away on you. And everything on there is in Japanese except made for Japan and it does have a little swatch of the color. There's a swatch of the color around the, the uh, cap when you take it off and also on the tip of the cap which I really like. The click is very satisfying when you go to put the cap on, which is good, so your brush pens won't dry out. And this is the one side, so it's definitely reminiscent of almost like the Secure Koi coloring brush pen. It's not huge, it's not like Tombow. I like this size actually. It seems a little bit bigger than the Karen Dash for Brolos. And you get this side, which is an actual fine tip pen. So we're gonna use both of those. I'm just gonna sort them first. We're going to take this paper away. I'm gonna sort them in order of the color I would sort them in, I guess. And the funny thing about these is that, and it's not even funny, I don't know why I said that. It's because ordinarily you would assume that you would get colors of like, like primary colors, right? And these are definitely not. So if they match their calligraphy inks, I would assume that they'd give you colors that would show up on paper. So they're not going to be, um, like they're going to be dark enough to show up. So I really appreciate that actually. That's um, a really nice factor. So I actually don't really, I can't even tell what the colors these are by just by looking at the barrel. So I think these are green. That's definitely blue. I think that might be a green as well. And that's like a blue green. Hmm. We're just going to do that. I don't actually know. I think this is a black, but it kind of goes with these dark blues here. So we're going to do this because I can't honestly tell. And this might be a brown green. I'm not sure. So I don't actually know if I've got them in like a proper color order because these aren't like your primary colors that you'd normally get in a brush pen. They're like pigment ink for like India ink for calligraphy. So let's go ahead and start. I'm so excited to take the swatches of these and feel out how these brush pens are. So the other thing is the cap kind of creates this like larger area, if you will, 
um, compared to the rest of the pen where you would hold it. So where you would hold it though, you take off the lid, it's got this like very ergonomic design and it indents a little bit. So this is where you'd put your fingers and people hold their pens different. So it's different for everybody, but it's very comfortable like when you're writing with it. So I'm, you could write with this for a very long time, depending on how long the pen lasts. And uh, your fingers probably wouldn't get as sore as say a different pen that was just all one uh, diameter throughout the pen. So let's try this. Ooh, I'm so excited. So there are 20 of them, so I'm gonna see if I can fit 10 on one side here. Ooh, okay. I can tell you guys that I already love these pens. I love them. The bounce back is amazing. I didn't write, I mean, strenuously with it. I don't press really hard on my brush pens. We'll do some work with them after I do the color swatches here. So let's go through the color swatches and then we'll play around with them after. These are beautiful, you guys. I am in love with these brush pens. So the hefty price tag, I know that there's a lot of brush pens. I own a lot of brush pens and I'm not telling you to go out and buy these. I know right now the market is really terrible and people don't have a lot of money because people don't have jobs right now. But if you're looking for a brush pen to do some really nice lettering pieces, these are the brush pens I would buy. I know that People who are looking to do some really nice lettering pieces love getting the Faber-Castell Artist Pit Pens. And for me, I find them a little bit floppy. I've been using the black one to color with because it doesn't fade and I can use my white gel pen over it. These, however, are just so beautiful. The colors, for me, like I don't see them being the original primary colors. They're different. And I actually was surprised when I found like these almost pastel shades here along with this bright blue, even both of these blues here, like pretty much those like four colors or five colors. The rest of them are just so pretty. They remind me of like ju rich jewel tones and um, they're just so nice to write with. I like the fact that they have a really nice fine tip and this tip has like the plastic nib so it won't wear out like a metal tip would if it's like your Sakura Pigma PNs. It just won't wear out as fast, which I love. So a pen like this, you should definitely store it horizontal because it does have the dual end and it isn't like the Karen marker where it has the liquid in the barrel. Those ones you're supposed to store them upright and the same with the Steen Sharpie, I believe, but these ones you should store horizontal. So next we're just gonna get in to see if they blend at all. I don't want to ruin these pens, so I'm going to first start by using a Tombow blender because it's the thing I have on hand. So I'm going to show you the nib size first. So this is me pressing down as hard as I can. And of course it's not even because I lift it up at the end. So you can get fairly thick down strokes, but it's not like a really big brush pen. And your up strokes are very, very fine. So if I do the basic brush strokes, you can get a really nice difference there. So if I try to blend some of this color out, mind you, this isn't like the best paper for that. Oh yeah, they're blendable, you guys. 
So I wonder what it would look like if I were to use, this is kind of like my test. I use my Tombow Dual Blend, like my blending card, and I put some of a darker color down on here first, and I just don't want to ruin my pens. These are so pretty, but if they blend, it should wear off. It should be one of those types of tips. Oh, yes. I mean, it doesn't hurt that I picked a really nice color to blend with. <laughs> this is so nice. Blending. And so I'm going to color off the color on the tip. And yes, of course. So they're definitely water-based. And I would, I would not use these on watercolor paper. I don't know how long the tip is going to last. It kind of looks like it frayed a little bit there in the end. But I mean, all brush pens are eventually going to fray. It's just a fact of life. But these, for the price tag, I'm hoping that they last for a while. So I'm going to try it with a different color here. Because that's a really pretty... And just, you know what, you guys, like even the control that you get from the way you can hold the pen, it's really nice. Like I find that there are certain pens I can have better control with. I think that like personally for me, I like combos, like the dual, dual brush pens. A lot of people say that they're not easy to um, start with or to learn on, but I actually really like them. Um, but these ones are so ergonomic that I feel like anybody could really do this and be a pro at brush lettering and I'm not saying that you would be because usually brush lettering takes a lot of practice to become really really good at so these are really nice And they bounce back quite quickly, actually. So these ones, I'm going to do quite a bit of work with these and just kind of see how they perform. But I want to do some lettering work. And I'm not sure what brush pens I'm going to do, but uh, are going to use. But these are a fine choice, my friends. Like, these are so beautiful. And you could even do some photography with them if you wanted to. And you could use the fine point for that. So just make the downstrokes thicker. I won't color them in right now, but you see my meaning. If you were to color it in, it looks as if you did some calligraphy, but you didn't. You did folligraphy. Yeah, I really, I think these are a really good buy. And I remember looking on the Stationery Pals website the last time I was like looking to place another order and these were gone. They were out of stock. So I don't know how many they carried at one time, but unless all of a sudden they become really, really popular and everyone's like, oh, new brush pens. And now they're trying to um, find them as well. But these are a really good purchase. And I'm glad that I found them. Um, it's funny how many companies are coming out with all of these new brush pens. Because it, even in the last little bit, I myself have purchased quite a few different ones. And at first I thought there was just like so many you could buy. But yeah, these are beautiful. And the colors... Just the colors are so pretty. So if you guys have any experience with these, like, do you have these? Have you heard of them? And if not, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. We will talk to you guys soon. Until then, please like this video if you enjoyed it. Also, if you're new here, I'd love if you subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell button so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye now.